Hi guys, welcome back. In the Laravel 5.8 video tutorial, we are going to learn about the plate templates in Laravel. Okay, so before starting with the code, you code, I want to tell you that uh, what points we are going to cover in this video. So these are the points. So first point is why we use the plate template. So when we are using the normal PHP tags in a view or where you want to print the uh, PHP code or variable, then it will be take some time and this is not looking good also so because you have to start the php tag then we have to echo and then we have to end it okay and if you are printing a string also then you have to put the uh, quotes and single quotes and it's it's not nice in the modern language okay so that's why uh, it's provide the uh, blade template okay for comparing the both of them and if you have to write the print the variable then you have to write the course something like this like war okay but if you are going to use the blade template then you just have to write dollar wo so as you seen the second uh, syntax is much cooler nicer and time saving also so that's why we use the blade template and one more thing the blade template inside all you can also use the uh, a PHP tag also then if you want to use this like this then it will also going to work so it's not restricting the PHP pure coding also okay that's nice okay so now the second uh, what we are going in this through video we have to make the routes and pass data from controller to view and now on the view template or view page we are going to play with the JSON and now we will uh, print some normal data how we can uh, HTML data, let's say you have a string of HTML data, then how we can print it and uh, how we can uh, use the blade template inside the script. So sometime you have to print the PHP code inside the JavaScript. So how you can do that with the easy way with the blade and how we can put the if else conditions and lead uh, and for each and much more. Okay. So now let's get started with that. So as you seen, this is my current page with the welcome route. These are here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I am going to do one more route for uh, uh, go to the controller. Okay, so just write here to save the time, just copy and paste here and just write here get and inside the get. Let's say you can write here blade or you can just simply write any other that you want to put the name and just write here YouTube at the rate index why I put the index I'll tell you just after opening the view uh, but just after opening the controller where is controller this one because I already have a function with the name with the index name okay so if I'm going to just uh, open this URL you will see that function uh, echo echo content okay fine so now I'll, I got this so now I want to uh, call a view template here for that I'm just going to remove it and just write here return view and the page name of the uh, view template okay so just go inside the view folder I'm going to make a new uh, new view which is an bed uh, php dot blade dot php paste dot blade dot php okay just write the spell okay so if you don't put the blade here that blade template is not going to work nice okay so now just after just write here page and you can just write call here try to call it blade temp I'll just try to call it okay we got some error here we have to put semicolon nice so we are able to see it okay so now we have to pass some data from uh, controller to view for that uh, we just write a variable just write here uh, data and inside the data variable I'm going to pass the array of some my information like name and the name I can just pass uh, my name like Anil or last, which is my last name, like uh, Sidhu, and 
email this is not my original email but uh, you can just try like and I'll at the rate mail.com nice so the three are enough I think for test now I just pass this data here like uh, this pass an array with the name of uh, you can put like items and pass my data here okay it's, it's looking nice now hmm. now just come here and uh, first of all let's say I just want to print some my collection data here so that how can I print for that uh, in first of all let's see how we will print in the basic PHP okay so you will write something you have to write something like this print R and just write here dollar items and you will get all the data and if you don't want to print this one then you can just simply write here like uh, this and dollar items okay that's my bad um, for that uh, we can just print a single name here for that just write here name then you can see that we got the name here okay so how we can this one I'll tell you later uh, for now I'm just going to comment it I just know don't need it so let's say if you want to print the name then you can print this one like okay so let's say there is also some HTML then how you can render the HTML let's say I have the fourth element with like uh, some fourth element like head and inside the head long so can short it like this so this I'm going to write here h1 and heading you can just write like this so how we can print this HTML for that just write here come to the blade template just write head and what you will see that you will see that it's a HTML is not printing here it's just printing a simple tag so how you can do that in the blade templates you have to just write like this and uh, just zoom it out and you are able to print the HTML nice so I'm going to put it like the same okay so now uh, sometime maybe you need to a uh, script tag okay so just writing writing a script tag here okay so what you need to print here you want to all the JSON data in the JavaScript for any reason so how you will do in the normal PHP you have to write the full uh, PHP tag echo and else you don't need to write like this so you can just write here define the JavaScript variable name like app and just write here at the rate sign JSON and inside the JSON just write here dollar items nice okay so now if you want to print this just just write here logs Here, app and just render it you will see that we got the data here okay so it's in, it's not too typical typical to write the PHP code in the script also so this is another one and let's go to the another point so let's say I want to check some if and else condition then how I can do this so for that you can just write here if dollar 
items inside the name equal equal to anil then what you need to print then print like this is my name and let's say you want to else here then just write the at the rate else and in the next line you can write here someone else is here and oh and don't forget to write uh, the and if okay now let's see what's going on then you will see this is my name because here is my name anil if i put here anil1 then it, the condition will be going to false and you will see someone else is here fine okay now let's go ahead and check something else so let's say now i want to print my all the property of my array which is coming inside the um, item so for that i just have to write the at the rate for each and like dollar items as dollar item at next line just you can simply write the ally and at the at you can just uh, write the at and for each okay and here just you can write here dollar item and let's check then you can see that we got the letter here okay so if I just you can just print here like this then it will be more amazing because heading is got the render okay so uh, these are the basic things about the Laravel blade template and in the next video we will see that how we can define the layout and inherit the layout uh, okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of query suggestions and anything that you want to tell you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe again okay so thanks guys thanks for watching again